Welcome back to the uh, the channel. You're on uh, Mastering MMA with Coach Lee. With this video, we are going over different types of cap kicks and how to set them up. Um, the timing is, is critical on this, so it takes a little bit of practice to get it down. But once you do, it's such a good weapon. Um, you can literally cripple your opponent's offense with this because they become afraid to step in and get aggressive if, if you're just attacking that low part of the leg. Um, I found if I can get good angles on this, this is more effective than my normal leg kicks, which I love to do anyways. But if I can get around to the back of the calf for this, um, I can slow them down a whole lot more with less kicks. So hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. So I got Alan here. Today we're going to be working on crippling your opponent's offense with calf kicks. Um, this is one of my favorite kicks. It's fairly safe if you cut good angles. Um, it's hard to check if you've got good angles, so we're going to be working on cutting an angle to make this a super effective um, kick. So first step is we're going to work if I play a lot of in and out games. I've got a long reach, so I'll touch people and then move out of range and touch people and move out of range. So when we're kicking, Alan's got a really good stance here. As he steps forward and jabs, go ahead, he's staying, staying toes forward. What happens is as I'm doing this, people start reaching, and he'll go into more of a boxer stance where those toes point in because he's trying to reach further. This is what I want to get here. So as I'm playing in and out, he throws a jab. He overextends because I'm coming back. So what I look to do is, is as I start seeing this, I'll touch him. I'll step back a little bit. As he overextends, I kick the back of this calf. So I'm in here. I'm going to touch him. I'm going to step back, and my toes go out immediately. As I step back, boom, I snap the back of the calf. So we're in here, he's gonna catch, he's gonna catch, I'm gonna step back, toes out, and I'm gonna kick as he jabs back. So I'm in here, I'm touch, right? I step back, boom, back of the calf. So it looks like this. Right, I eat that calf up with this. You don't have to kick real hard. I'm hitting just above the Achilles, below the calf muscle, and I will dig into that. So we're here, right, as I step back, I point my toes out so I can snap this quick, right? I just swing my hips through real quick. Um, you've got to know the range here, right? I can't step back and still be where I'm getting punched because if I'm here and he makes contact, I'm off balance. I'm kind of falling down. A lot of times I'll hit the mat off a weak jab on that sometimes. So I'm here, I'm touch, I'm back. Boom. Um, I like to add a little head movement into that too as I go. In case I'm not quite out of range, I get my head just offline a little bit. So we're here, boom, he comes back. A little quick calf kick. Boom. If you catch them in time before their foot hits, sometimes they'll even drop if they're shifting all their weight to that leg. So the next thing we're gonna do off of this is Alan's gonna be in a stance, right? He's got a good MMA stance. He doesn't have those toes pointed in to make it obvious. Um, Obviously, if he's a straight boxer and those toes start out in, I will just eat the calf up the whole time. But So he's got a good stance here. So I like to cut angles anyways. You should be working on that. You don't want to play straight forward, straight back. It's too easy to read. I like to come in, change angles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit him with a jab. And in real life, I, I don't care if this is hitting or not, right? I'm just trying to blind him as I hop off line. So I'm here. Boom, I hop off the side just a little bit. I'm attacking this calf. So I'm touching, he's gonna block for me. Boom, I hop off the side, hit that calf. So full speed, it's attacking that calf. Um, I'll throw this one a little bit harder than the, the last one where I'm touching and backing, just this. That's more of a quick one. This one I can put a little bit more behind. Um, I'm not doing it, you know, cause I don't wanna beat up on my training partner here. If you break all your toys, you don't have anything to play with. So I'm here, I touch, I hop off, I kick. So if he's firing back after I jab, it's here, he fires back, and I'm out of line. This little hop pulls my head off line, and I'm leaving this jab out here for a split second to blind him. So it's going to be here, boom, he's throwing back, I'm catching his back of his calf. So once again, we're in here, I'm kind of touching, touching, boom, boom, nice quick kick. So this next one, we're actually working off the inside kick. So we'll be in here, I might be throwing hands or whatever, and I'm in to that. Right, so that's how I'm setting this up. We're playing, I'm in, right right there, he just checked. That's what I'm looking for, is him to start to check. Right, so what I'm gonna do then, this is my setup, right? I've kicked him in the thigh a couple times. Now he's aware of it, right? He's checking, he's starting to try to figure out his counter spot. So what I'm doing in here, is I'm in here, I'll come here and I'll step, just to make that, that come up. As soon as this comes up, he turns, and I come back into that. 
So we're in here, right? I'm kicking. I help. Little snap. I don't have to put a lot of power. If I'm hitting low on that calf, um, you don't have to snap into it. You just want it quick so it gets there before he can readjust. But with him turning his hip in to check this kick, it exposes this part of the leg and it re greatly reduces the chances of him checking my kick, which is what I don't want happening. That's horrible. So we're in here, right? I'm here, I'm kicking, he's starting to check. I'm up, right into it real quick. So full speed, it's real quick. I just snap into it, catching the back of the uh, calf there. All right, the last thing we're gonna hit on this video is out of an open stance. Um, for this one, I'm going to be southpaw, he's going to be orthodox, but this works um, either way. You know, I could be orthodox, he could be southpaw, it plays, it plays out the same. So we're going to work off of, first of all, for open stance, the battle to fight is with the feet. Right, right here, we're neutral. If my foot is inside a little bit, he's got an advantage. If my foot is outside a little bit, I've got an advantage. It puts him right in line with my power shots. Or if I'm inside a little bit, it puts me right in line with his power shots. Right, so that's the biggest battle right here is with this foot placement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work off a jab hook, both lead hands, so I'm here, here. While I'm doing this, I'm changing my angles, right, which gives me a dominant angle. Um, a lot of times I'm coming into this, boom, I'll shift out, and that puts him right in line for this power shot. But if I'm looking to slow him down with these kicks some, maybe he's showing up every time I do this, so I'm just going to attack real low. So we're here, I'm jab, I'm hopping out to the side on this hook, and then I'm snapping the calf. So we're here, jab, hop to the outside on this hook, kick the back of the calf. I'm getting a good angle where I'm getting on the back side of his leg. I'm not hitting the side, I'm hitting back just above the Achilles. So we're in here, I jab, I step outside with the hook, quick snap on the back of the calf. So full speed, it's going to be, right, we just snap into it real quick. Good. Um, I've caught people many times, I catch that front foot and it spins them and they actually fall, um, which is huge in a tie fight or in MMA if they drop right in front of you. Um, I like this one a lot. The other thing that happens here is I'll get people that want to roll and a lot of times as they roll they turn away which exposes more of this, which I love. So we'll be in here and I'll show this if he's rolling. Step in and get the back, that's nice isn't it? <laughs> Step in and I get all the way on the back on that one. So I'm here and I'll show this hook real good and snap. If he's rolling real, real hard and he's really turning that, I don't even have to cut an angle. I just drop down on it. So we're here, I'll be here, I'll show this, snap into that. So full speed is going to be real quick. Alright, so as you saw, timing is a lot of this and angles is a lot of this. Um, drill it. If you can get it down, it'll be an excellent weapon to add to your arsenal. I use them a lot, especially when I can get people um, overreaching. So get together with your buddies, drill this. If you can get into a gym, it's even better. Have a large group of guys you can drill with. Um, if you can get a personal um, coach, that'll help out. You'll advance so much quicker because they can break down the little details. Um, if you're in Virginia, check out MMA Institute. We've got them all over Virginia. I'm at the one in Harrisonburg come see us. Um, so after watching this video, tell me what you think. Um, you can see how this really just cripples their offense, it slows them way down. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. Did it work for you? Did it not? And also would like me to do in the future for uh, these videos. I'd also like to give a shout out to the guys over at Street Beefs, um, Face, Omar, Esteban. They have helped me out a lot getting this channel up and running and uh, giving me some support behind it. So if you're not on their pages um, or their channels, go check them out. And we'll see you next time here. Go train.